Hey everyone, in this video I'll be going through how to solve the staircase problem from Hacker Inc. This is rated as an easy problem and I'll be solving it in JavaScript. So the scenario here is we want to create an ASCII art staircase using hashtags. And we're given a variable n which is the number of steps or the number of lines on our staircase. So as you can see here we have a staircase n equals 4 and down here we have one where n equals 6. So the way to approach this is to go line by line and generate a string of spaces and hashtags and then we can just print each line as we complete it. So if you look over to this uh, VS Code window you can see a sample staircase where n equals 4 and we have S's to indicate spaces and then we have our hashtags. So if we were to create a for loop where um, i starts off at 0 and we loop for the number of steps, um, so this is our i from our for loop, right? So we start off at 0 and we need to kind of determine how to count how many spaces and hashtags. So to do that, we can just use this diagram to develop a very simple algorithm. And the algorithm is that um, s is going to be equal to the number or the number of steps, right? n. So it's going to be equal to n minus i minus one. So for example, if we look at this line, um, s is two, right? And two is equal to four minus one minus one. So we can use this to determine the number of spaces for each string. And to determine the number of hashtags, we can just do uh, the hashtag number equals to i plus 1. Right? So if i is 1, then we want two hashtags. So now that we have this, we can create two for loops to generate um, the spaces and the hashtags. So we can start off with a blank string. and then add to this string. And then by the way, um, so this for loop, basically every time we loop, we generate a new string until we have the entire staircase. So that's what we're doing here. Um, so we wanna create another for loop and we can use a J for the index this time, um, equals zero. And we wanna go as long as J is equal to N minus I minus one. and we can increment j. So basically this loop is gonna run for as many times as we need spaces, and every time it runs, it's gonna add one space to our string. So to add the space, we can just do string plus equals a space. And then we want one more for loop, very similar for loop. We're gonna do k for the index this time. And as long as k is less than i plus one because that is our number of hashtags. And within this, we can just do string plus equals a hashtag. And then at the very end of our loop, our initial for loop, we want to print out the string that we've created. So we can just do console.log string. And this is it. So we can copy it over, submit the code, and pass the tests. So uh, just to summarize, basically every time this main for loop runs, we create a string, and we are generating uh, the characters in the string one by one. First we're doing the spaces in a loop, then we're doing the hashtags in the loop, and to determine the amount of times that each loop runs, we can use this simple algorithm and see the pattern here and use n and use i to create our uh, loop condition basically, right? And then we print out the string after we generate it and we do that for the entirety of a staircase. So thanks for watching everyone. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below and I will see you next time.